How's it going, guys? Welcome to a picture in picture for video number. Where's the fucking thing? That's right, it's down here with the new YouTube title down there. Says it's Wi-Fi single number 500, and I was like, you know what? I might as well do it again. I said I was gonna do these more often, and the thing is, is I just have this awkward as fuck setup where I like stand in the corner right there, and I put the mic on top of the mattress, and it's just. It's really fucking weird. So I was like, you know what? I something's absolutely has to change. So I'm not playing the video like on my TV. I learned how to do that just today. I was like, you know what? We'll do that. Yeah, and we can use the controller as our starting remote. It's super cool. But I actually did have something special planned for 502, and I just didn't really get the time to get on it. So we're just gonna like put a rain check on that until we get to like number like 30,000 subs. Sound sound good? Sound good? Okay, sounds good. I'm, I'm not even giving you the time to agree. Just go with it. Okay, so if you're looking at the title, uh, videos against NBC, uh, we did have this match, I think at either, I think it was my stream, because I don't think I've been to one of his streams in a while. Okay, yeah, hit my stream, and it was an RU match, kind of a mixed RU and UE kind of thing, and we'll just go ahead and jump right into it right about, uh, now okay wow cool there we go so let's put this down great so you can see right here he's got some RUE stuff he's got you know primate he's got scolopede he's got right on not bad okay got a bunch of physical stuff on here and then he's got some like super NUE stuff like NU of NU like he's got like RUPU stuff <laughs> he said he was gonna bring RU NU stuff going into it so I'm like okay fine I'll just do that so I got Jinx and I got Archeops and then I have I think my NUE shit was just like Zangoose and War Turtle? Is that it? I honestly, I think Amoogus went up to RU, so I can't really say that. Well, whatever. Uh, scales are a little bit tipped in my favor, but it's not my entire team. That's gonna give him a lot of trouble. Uh, slight spoilers for what kind of happens in the future, whatever. It's mainly just one Mon, but you'll see that when we get to that, so... I don't know. Fuck, I really haven't done one of these in a while. I'm so rusty. Oh, this background, this background's weird. Like, me and Zed were, like, messing around in Skype, and we were trying to figure out new battle backgrounds, like, the codes for them, like, just going around in the cheats and then just toggling the values and seeing what it spits out. And this is one of them, so I was like, oh, God, this is weird. This reminds me of that one level, like, that one part in Tomba 2 where, like, the pig freezes everything. Shout out to, like, the five people that are going to get that, by the way, because Tomba 2 is, like, an amazing game. Anyways, <laughs> he goes for Stone Edge on that first turn. I don't really understand why. Uh, I know I'm going to go for Stun Spore because I know these things have Vital Spirit. It's going to be absolutely pointless to try to regular spore it. So I was like, if that's a Scarf or 2, that's even better. And he actually said he stayed in predicting me to forget about Vital Spirit and try to go for the spore and just get a free Stone Edge off on it. I would have just fucking U-turned, whatever. Uh, then again, he did have a chance to activate my effect spore, which I completely forgot that I had. Uh, it was supposed to be Regenerator, I just had that thing a long time ago. It has been changed since now, so like, don't worry about it. Just a lot of the pokes in my boxes, they're good sets, but they're fucking outdated. So, that's kind of a thing. Uh, the other thing that I haven't really used, like, ever since I've had it in my box, I have two Spirit Tombs, I always use the Choice Banded one, I've used this thing maybe a total of twice, because I do not like Rest Talkers and how unreliable they can be. But, today, I, think I gotta give him a little more credit. So, turns out NBC gets a freaking five hit rock blast on this. Almost takes me out. If he got a crit on one of those, he definitely would have had my goat right there. That's exactly what you want, don't you? You motherfucker. You want my goat. You do. You do. Anyways, I rest it off and uh, get all the way back up to full. And sleep talk's pretty cool because, you know, you're either gonna pick Calm Mind, just keep boosting yourself up on the special end, make it even harder for them to hit you on that end. Or you're going to hit Dark Pulse, and you're just going to be able to hit him even harder. So, And then if you hit Rest, big whoop. I mean, like, what can one-shot a Spirit Tomb? It's kind of hard to one-shot a Spirit Tomb when you're unboosted. So, with that in mind, I'm just going to sit here and, like, set up on this thing. I really don't mind at all. I'm noticing that this thing's doing a lot of damage. Either I'm really underestimating Rhydon, or I'm just overestimating Spirit Tomb's physical defense, I don't know, I think Rhydon's actually got a pretty good attacking stat, but I go for another sleep talk and I was like, oh shit, you know what, this is not going to work out because as a matter of fact, he's probably going to have enough, I'm counting, like I'm relying on a low damage roll on his behalf in order to live it, and he goes for Rock Blast for whatever reason, I guess he thought that was probably going to do more just based on how much he did on the first one, he did get 5 hits on the first one though. But I'm feeling like that had better odds of taking me out than Earthquake did. I don't know, maybe I was just psyching him out in Skype or something and made him change up moves. But Rock Blast missed, and that lets me get back up to full again. He was pissed. He was pretty pissed, I'm not gonna lie. But 
uh, just get to continue the rest talking stuff. I don't know, rest talk spirit tomb was kind of cool. Still is kind of cool, just don't really use it that often. Turns out I sleep talk the dark pulse now, which was nice. Two turns ago would have been better, but I probably would have been left a little more vulnerable to something else. I don't know. Uh, he brings this thing in now. I don't know why he brought it in now, because it's really not going to be able to do a lot, especially looking at the damage output on that thing. If Rhydon does more with Earthquake, I'm thinking this one's more of a supporting set with like Sash and Spikes, or I don't know, it's just not offensive, especially because I don't see any life or recoil. Uh, I also see Spikes and or Toxic, uh, Spikes or Toxic Spikes on the next turn. He has both on his set, is what I'm trying to say, so he's more of a utility kind of thing. So, I'm just kind of sitting in here doing my thing. He knows I'm sitting in there doing my thing, which is why I'm just going to go ahead and rest. I don't care if he gets all these hazards up, because I do still have my spinner live, as long as I can bring it in safely. The one thing I'm looking to bring it in on is Bear Tick, because Bear Tick is not really going to be able to do a lot to War Turtle. So, if I can bait out his Bear Tick and then just, like, die or, like, catch it on the Switch, then great. I can come in, spin him out. For now, my plan A is just going to be sitting here and let Spirit Team do its thing. So, I mean, if he wants to set up all three layers of spikes, fine. Two layers of talking spikes, great. As long as I can get out of this awake and at full HP, I'm good to go. And I think it's either on this turn or the next turn. I think it's the next turn that I miscount my rest turns because it was like streaming and live streaming and, you know, looking at the chat. Oh my god, I'm distracted, that kind of thing. Uh, someone even told me in the chat, like, okay, you did your two things, you're gonna wake up on this turn, so you just need to go for Dark Pulse and kill him off. And I was like, Shit, uh, I, I had no excuse for that. Well, I, I kind of did, and I kind of didn't. I'm I'm just going to shut up now, because I wake up and sleep talk. Yeah, could have killed him off, whatever. Did that Megahorn do that much? It really didn't, so at the end of the day, I'm not really worried about it. But he's just going to go ahead and go for a... I think that's his final layer spike, and I think I let him get all... How many hazards did he get up on that? Like, four? I think that's about as many, like, boosts as I have under my belt as well. I'm at, like, plus four or plus five with this thing. On the special defensive and the special offensive side, which is not too shabby at all. And then he brings in fucking Lieutenant Burke. You know what this thing does? This thing flinches with Icicle Crash. It's not supposed to flinch. I mean, it's got, like, a 20 or 30% chance. It's not, like, super high, like, Seed Flare special defense drop, but it's just high enough to be like, hey, you could probably get that twice and just make the entire, like, first five minutes of this battle a complete fucking waste of time. Which is exactly what he does here. So I was like, okay, if you get that second flinch, I'm gonna be really upset. But to be absolutely fair, that more, I'm not gonna say that makes up for the Rock Blast miss from earlier, or just him not being able to kill me off in general. But I'd be lying if I said that he probably wasn't really satisfied to see that happen. But this is the opportunity I wanted. I get to bring in my War Turtle right here, you know, the EV Light, all that shit. And uh, assuming he doesn't flinch me again, like twice, like two more times in a row with Icicle Crash, I'm gonna be able to spin these away. Like, I don't even care if he gets a free sub, I just don't want the hazards on the field at all. So, uh, turns out I don't flinch. On top of that, I get a crit rapid spin. How about that? Suck on dem nuts. Anyways, uh, all the hazards, all that time he spent setting up uh, with Skullipede is gone, but he kind of got rid of my whole set of shenanigans like a couple turns ago. So like, oh shit, you know what? Crit Rapid Spin? Fuck this, I'm out of 9000 Decides to go into his uh, Primate as I go for Scald, or maybe he just doesn't want to get burned with it. It doesn't matter. I really don't care either way. But an interesting thing, if you're looking at the HP number, I wasn't in Torrent on the previous turn. And I am in Torrent on this turn, which is why this next Skull does huge, like, massive damage. And he's just gonna not take me out of the U-turn, but the Poison will. So, like, any way you cut it on that one, unless he manually switched out, uh, I would ultimately end up getting Switch Initiative on this one, just because I would have died at the end of the turn, would have been able to send in something accordingly. It's not that bad. So... I get to go into my Zangus, I know I directly threaten him out with the close combat. If he wants to switch into a Survivor, which I actually found pretty cool that I brought a Zangus and he brought a Survivor. That was not planned, by the way. He just decided to switch to this as Death Fodder. That's cool, too. But I know that my one turn of action where I force him out, or he just decides to stay in and let it die or let something else die, is enough for me to get my Toxic Boost going. Now, I would have liked the Toxic Spikes on the field, just because I do plan on staying in play longer than three turns if I had that thing. But, I know that this thing actually happens to have Sucker Punch, which is why I'm actually going to switch out. I was kind of scared of it, so I was like, you know what, minus one Sucker Punch? 
that's probably going to do a lot of damage. I, no, I don't want a part of that. So, he ends up going for Venoshock, which was pretty interesting, you know, him getting the Toxic Spikes up with the Scolipede and then having Venoshock on the Survivor. I like that shit. And then it turns out that I completely forgot these things got Flamethrower, even though I've run one myself from time to time. I've run a Specs one with Flamethrower, but I don't want to lie for one. And I go for Spore right here, which could have been really stupid, but I figured, you know what? He luck sacked the hell out of his 30% earlier with the two flinches. I don't think he's going to get a first turn wake with the shed skin because you do have a, I think it's a 30% chance to shut off any status you have uh, with that ability. So I decided to switch out into Zangoose thinking that he's going to stay asleep. It happens in between turns when you lose it. So like right there before I took the poison damage, if he did shut it off, it would have happened there. So turns out he wakes up right now. I think he got an early wake on that just to turn sooner than I was kind of banking on. But, as you can see, a Stock Sucker Punch still does a lot, and I just take my facade, so whatever. But, the point was, if I stayed in earlier and I tried going for a facade on that one, then just straight up would have died. I don't know how he planned on outspeeding me, though, because the Viper's really not that fast, but whatever. And then he brings in this thing, I was like, okay, I don't know what this thing's gonna do, shut up to anyone else that's thinking that it's gonna do what I think it's gonna do. But it turns out he tried to sub, I think he said it was like a sub, protect, talk, no. Sub, protect... Soak and Toxic, I think was his thing there. No. Sub. It was Sub and Toxic and Whirlpool and I, I don't fucking know. It was it was something really weird and I was like, why did you do that? That's really stupid. But Zangus just ends up dying right there. I happen to know for a fact that his last one left is Lieutenant Burt. I go into my Archeops not to hit it with the Stone Edge because if I miss the Stone Edge, you can bet your sweet tits he's going to hit me with an Ice Cold Crash and take me out. I still have my Flight Gem intact and I'm still at like full HP. So I'm just going to go for an Acrobatics. And I believe that is the game? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Will I put those over my head after this? No, 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 that's the game. Okay, so. Anyway, that was an RE match. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you can leave a like rating, comment, and subscribe, and do your thing. Uh, definitely, since I figured out how to do this, at least one picture in picture for a week. This is not even that big a deal. I just take that tripod there out of the closet, and then I take the mic, and I move it from, like, right there to, like, right here. That's like two minutes of setup now. It's so much easier. So, uh, TCGO tomorrow, video on Wednesday, TCGO Thursday, video Friday. I feel like starting a new LP soon. I don't know what yet. I was kind of thinking about Spiral 1. I'm still not 100% on that. Uh, it could be a pretty fun one if you guys actually did like that first Spiral 1, but I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Anyways, uh, that it? That That's it. That's it. You can, you can go home now. Or, I mean, if you're watching this on mobile. If you're already home, then just X out the tab, whatever, do your thing. Bye!